Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I work on the lips with filler. So let's get started. First things first, we will clean and disinfect the lips properly. As always, I am using my favorite corrector Dior. I am using shade 0N. I need a quite a lot of concealer on my brush to make sure I can create nice and precise lines. We always start from the corner on the bottom lip. I always like to follow my client's natural shape. And we already know we cannot tattoo where the hair is, so always up. Nice and precise lines is a must. I am moving my client's head to myself. I am fixing my lines I need to check my shape so I go behind the client I put my fingers over here and move it to the top I need to move my corner a little bit more up here See, everything looks perfect to me now, so I can move to the upper part. I move my client's head away from me and now we will start over here. We know that these two lines should meet at the same point over here. Her lips already look so beautiful, I only need to follow her natural shape. I put my two fingers here and I push it to my side. This way I can see if my lines are nice or if they are more curved than I want. Now I will clean my lines a little bit. This way I can check how my heart looks like. I need to fix my corner over here. C. 
same thing on the other side. When I stretch my lips properly, I can see how my lines look like and I can see some imperfections. Now we will fix our shape with a baby powder. And we are done. We can start with the procedure. I decided to use these beautiful colors. I will mix them in proportion one to one. I will be using brown quadron cartridge, 30 one round liner long taper. We need to stretch the skin and we can start slowly. Very short movements, only towards myself because I want to create very, very soft outline. Let's check and we can beautifully see. It's super soft, but really enough for me to see the outline and the border. When I work with lips with filler, it's easier for me to stretch the lips because they have a quite a big volume. So I only stretch my lips like this and I'm going to continue. Moving my client's head, pushing like this, and we can continue. When I am working on the outline, I always need to readjust myself to make sure that I have a 90 degree angle and a good stretching. I am readjusting my client's head and stretching towards myself. Always moving around my client. I need to make sure I feel comfortable while tattooing outline. Now we move to the bottom side. We are going to apply a little bit of anesthetic on the outline. And you can beautifully see it. From now on, pixelated outline will be my favorite one. I love it. Now we can softly start with filling the lips.
Today I would like to do a little bit different technique. I don't want to create a lipstick effect. I want to only create a very soft effect. So I will be only using one way movement. And my strokes will be a little bit far away from each other. I am moving 50% and doing the same thing over here. Only one way movement. Very, very soft pressure. slowly down and moving my lips all the time to make sure that I have only 90 degree angle and not more or less. Moving my client's head and continue closer to the corner. Can you see how I am constantly Moving the lip. It is really important to always keep 90 degree angle. I don't want to stretch my lips today. And I will show you that you can do it like this too. But you need to make sure that your technique is 100% good. Let's clean the lip. When I stretch, I can see some small pixels. It will take some time for you to see it, but in under 10 minutes, you will see that this part will become darker and more pinkish. Checking the lip. And I can already see a little bit of color inside. Slowly moving up. And down. Make sure that while you are working, you are not destroying the skin. You need to feel that your needle goes into the skin smoothly. Moving my client's head. I used to stretch the lips a lot, but I think that now, when I'm stretching the lips a little bit less, it's better. I learned this and I think my tattooing is nicer and the pigment goes better into the skin. We learn something new every day, so never stop learning and taking courses.
You should observe how you work and how it feels while you are working. This is the most important. And of course, your result and your heel result. Look at the shape, it looks so beautiful. 90 degree angle. And we can continue on the other side over here. And stretching the lips really softly. Movement towards myself and 90 degree angle to the lips. And we should already see some color and we can see it beautifully. Can you see the difference up and down? We will do a very quick second pass and we will move to the bottom part. We move to the other side and we are going to work on this part for now. Here we can see we have some wrinkles, so I need to stretch more. But still super soft. Now we will start with the bottom line and bottom part. From the corner, inside the mouth, and back down. One way movement. And we will go over here. Always 90 degree angle. Very soft. Stretching and nicely moving. As you can see, the color looks beautiful in the lips. 
And this is one of the most beautiful and natural mixes you can have. I really like to do this kind of procedures and I really prefer natural outcome of the permanent makeup. It really takes time to create a beautiful result. But it's always worth it for me. How long does it take you to, to do a full procedure for lips? Stop the video now and let me know in the comments. Now I am working on my first pass. I want to do a full lip and then I will clean and check what I have inside the lips and we will continue with the second pass. My pressure is very soft and I am constantly changing my hands, myself and a machine to stay at the 90 degrees. Very, very important. Do you know why it's easier to tattoo bottom part, bottom lip? Let me know in the comments if you know the answer. I'm going to apply a little bit of lip balm. I want to make my lips hydrated and I will be working through this lip balm. I really like to work through this lip balm because it helps me to implant pigment into the skin better and it's easier and faster. We move to the other corner now. I am finishing the bottom part and in a few minutes we will be done.
I really, really love this procedure, especially the mix I created for my client. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!